Okay, let's get set up with this guy then. So today I'm going to do a bit more of a simple guide for you, but I realise there's a lot of arcade fans out there, so that's the reason I'm going to be doing uh, what's called CPS1, CPS2, and CPS3, which is Capcom Series systems, which are obviously arcade systems. So before I start this setup guide, I just want to make some up very clear. There seems to be a bit of a bizarre rumor about some t-shirts I wear being about 4.5 years old, and they were bought for me, so uh, <laughs> I'm not sure where this is came from. But um, anyway, uh, if you're new to my channel, <clears throat> let's just uh, hit notifications so you don't miss any more retro bat tutorials. And let's just get on with this. So what we're going to do first is just talk about the type of files or extensions you're going to need to get the CPS machines up and running through Retrobat. So I've got CPS 1, 2 and 3 just here. If we go into CPS 1, you can see I've got a .zip and the same for CPS 2, another .zip and CPS 3, a .zip. Now, if we go into back GUI and we check the system list under system, if we just navigate down to, say, for example, CPS2, you're going to find a variety of different extensions. But through testing for the setup guide, I found quite largely that dot zips are the most reliable for all of these systems. So let's just go into the retro back directory. So right click on your shortcut to open the file location, which is always the easiest and simplest way to get to these places. And under ROMs, you're going to find CPS 1, 2 and 3. So if we open up CPS 1, I'm going to just drag this CPS 1 game inside of this ROMs folder. And same for CPS 2. It's a very simple setup, guys, like I say, but I'm also aware that what's sometimes simple for some people isn't necessarily the case for others, which is why I do what I do on my channel, and I really enjoy doing it, with some really amazing feedback, actually. So once those are in place, we need no BIOS files for this whatsoever. We're going to just open up retrobat.exe. And you're going to see these have now appeared. So I've got my PlayStation 3 controller. I'm going to start with Capcom 1. Now, be aware that Capcom 1, in this game's case, needs a different emulator rather than it being set from default emulator. So for this, I recommend selecting FB Alpha or FB Alpha 2012. If you leave this one to auto, it doesn't seem to work. So like I say, I suggest you use FB Alpha, which is Final Burn. So let's just open this one up to start with. And I'm going to grab some artwork. So main menu, scraper, and I'm going to just scrape the artwork for Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So obviously, once this has been scraped, what we're going to do is just go back into the main menu and update game list as usual. So game settings, update game list, yes. And there we go. So let's open this one up and just double check. It's still set to Libretro FB Alpha, which it is. Okay, so as we can see, that's up and running, and that's running really well as well. I'm going to show you in a minute, if you're new to my channel, we've not seen any of my other videos, I'm going to show you how to remove the bezels and make this into a 16 by 9 ratio, sort of updating the graphics to look a bit more modern, as it were. So let's move down to Capcom 2, and again, Scraper, Scrape Now, just to get artwork for this. And it'll be the same process for this one. So once this is done scraping, just a case of going into main menu and then game settings and just updating the games list. So there we go. So, so this one's got the bezel on and we can get rid of this in a minute, but I'm gonna show you first this working. So let's just get out of that. And finally, we got CPS3. So again, view options, advanced system options. So again, main menu, scraper, and scrape this now. 
And if you are new to my channel and you just stumbled across this video, check out my playlist for retro back tutorials. I've done a lot and I like doing what I do. It keeps me happy and it gets people up and running with classics. So really update game lists and there we go. So again, I'm going to go into this CPS3 game and it should boot straight up. And there we go. And what I'm going to show you next is you can alter uh, the way these games look. Like I was saying a minute ago, we can certainly get rid of those bezels. And I think the best way to uh, explain how this works is if I actually go back into CPS 2. And this was the game a minute ago, 1941 or 19XX, where you could barely see the screen. And that was due to the bezel I was using. So what I'm going to do with this is go to view options, advanced system options. First of all, I'm going to take the decorations off, which is acting as the bezel. So none. And game aspect ratio, I'm going to put this onto 16 by 9. And to smooth up the gameplay and the pixelation, if you just go to integer scaling, put this to on. Vertical sync, I recommend putting this to on. That reduces any screen tear in your gameplay. And under visual rendering, I'd recommend also turning this one to on. If you want a slight blur to your gameplay, which is, again, going to take away any pixelation. So let's boot up 19XX or 1941. And there we go. So what I'm going to do next is go back into Capcom 1 and Advanced System Options. And just to show you again how this works to take away bezels if you've got them enabled. Decorations, none. Game Aspect Ratio, 16 by 9. Integer Scaling should be on. Vertical Sync, I recommend to be yes. And if we go to Visual Rendering, I recommend just turning this on. And we're going to start our Cadillacs and Dinosaurs again. So that's about it for my setup guide and excuse my uh, situation with my t-shirt. I just thought I'd get out there and just make everyone very aware that I bought this one myself and uh, it's fairly new actually. But <laughs> I'm not going to take it too seriously. Neither should you with someone being a bit of a... Well, anyway, so follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And like I say in the video, be sure to check out my other RetroBat setup guides. I've also got RetroArch setup guides and LaunchBox setup guides. And if you need additional support for anything that I cover, I've got a Patreon and I've also got options for tiers under Buy Me A Coffee. But until next time, stay retro.